action! <laughs> hey guys, my name is Josh Henderson. Um, this is my audition tape for Top Chef. I am the owner and executive chef of Skillet Street Food. And uh, we do street food. In, oh, it's in Seattle, Washington, sorry. Um, we do uh, street food kind of with a twist, a little bit gourmet street food all over the town of Seattle. And uh, one of the dishes that we do is the spiced braised pork belly with a cornmeal waffle and a little bit of uh, braising sauce and some pork cracklings. It's warm. So, you know, a little bit. Trying to show off some nice skills here. All right, so again, this sort of long strokes go through it. Okay, so we'll save those for later. We're gonna cut these pieces into about, I don't know, plate sized pieces. I got a spice mixture of salt, allspice, little cloves. Little... So next step is we're going to sear the pork belly. What we're trying to do is just render some of the fat down. Um, being that this is the, the test kitchen for Skillet Street Food International, <laughs> uh, we do have some of the uh, most innovative cooking dependents you can see here. So. This is our Kenmore oven. It's really nice. It may seem small, but so the features on it, sometimes it would take too long, especially in this video, to really go through them all. But, and again, this is very, very simple. Let's do one or two cinnamon sticks. Eggs going. Waffles going. The belly is done. It's still pretty warm. A little bit of this raisin liquid on top. There you have a little maple braised pork belly with fried egg, cornmeal waffle, a little bit of cinnamon cornmeal dust, and I'll go ahead and cut into it to show you that it is pretty much fork tender. It's a pretty good looking breakfast. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, a little bit about me, I went, well I grew up in Seattle most of my life and uh, lived all over the world. Uh, my father and mother were missionaries and so we lived in India and Hong Kong and I got kind of a pretty well-rounded view of food, somewhat from being exposed to crazy, crazy markets and spices and stuff. Um, went to school, majored in music and voice, um, just because I knew that I could get a degree and get on scholarship. Uh, from there, I went to the CIA in New York. It was an opportunity for me to go somewhere uh, to be the be a part of the best of something, and uh, I still think that the CIA was one of the, the greatest experiences of my life. I, I I soaked up everything that I could, and um, it was just it was awesome. Okay, so my life in a nutshell. Um, my life in a nutshell. I work a lot with Skillet, uh, my dogs, and my wife. Our new baby. Yay! Coming up. About eight months. <laughs> Yay. Uh, either Piper or Wallace. So uh, that's my life right now. And I work a lot and we hang out at home and we hang out with the dogs and um, enjoy friends and it's pretty simple. Uh, I cook focusing on very simple ingredients. Um, very simple ingredients. Uh, with uh, impeccable technique, that would be my goal. Um, I, I just, I believe in our craft and I believe that it's an artisan craft at its nature and we should honor that and if you're gonna put something on a plate, show respect for that by treating it with the best care that you can. So on behalf of Zola, it's you, and me, and Luca, and my lovely wife Kelly, who has a lentil in her belly, not really, figuratively, not literally. I don't think, at least. Where are the dancers? Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity and I look forward to hearing from you.